All right, I made it out of Shaver Lake, beat the snowstorm before they closed the road. And on the way to Visalia, I've stopped in downtown Fresno. This is the epitome of faded glory. I'm on the full, what used to be the Fulton Street Mall. It's now just Fulton Street. When they try to redevelop this place in 1964, they made this a pedestrian only street, but they gave up on it a few years ago. And uh, gave it back to the cars here in Fresno as most stuff has moved to the suburbs. But still fascinating to stop by. I'll show you selling the arena in a little bit. Still here, that's where the Jerry Tarkanian Fresno State Bulldogs used to play. And at the end of the day, this is 49ers territory, the 559. And we can use that to talk about 49ers free agency and draft plans. I think, you know, they still have 30 open spots on this 90 man roster. Signing number 60 was Miles Hartsfield yesterday, defensive back formerly with the Panthers. I expect the 49ers to fill up about 20 of these final 30 spots on draft weekend between their picks and undrafted free agents, but still at least a handful of veterans to sign. And, you know, they love this tight end class in the draft. Payne Durham, one of the names out of Purdue, a lot of good names. The 49ers are on the record, both John Lynch and Adam Peters, saying that they think this is one of the best tight end draft classes that they've ever seen. So I think the 49ers obviously want to pair somebody with George Kittle, and I think they're definitely going to use at least one draft pick on trying to do that. But I don't think it would hurt to use one of these remaining spots that is allocated for a veteran on a veteran tight end. Because of how good the tight end draft class is projected to be, I think the veteran tight end market has been really slow, and you could probably get some guys at a relative discount. And one player who's still available is Austin Hooper. And I'm not bringing him up just because he's a fellow former Stanford guy, I think that Austin Hooper uh, fits Shanahan's system. I mean, he played for the Falcons, drafted in 2016, scored a touchdown in the Super Bowl that year in the 28-3 game to help build the 28-3 lead. Anyway, it doesn't necessarily have to be Hooper. It doesn't necessarily have to be Payne Durham out of the rookies, but a rookie and a veteran pairing at tight end to bulk up that room could be the way to go for the 49ers because uh, they only have two tight ends right now under contract in George Kittle and Charlie Werner. So definitely try to beef up that room and maybe those two names make sense. Anyway, a little bit more Fresno. There's the security bank building. It is an ornate building inside. I just went in there. There's actually a rooftop bar, not at the very top, but a few floors up called Quail State. They're trying to bring back life into this downtown Fresno area and a, a nice little cocktail bar with good small plates and food is uh, probably a good way to start that. But a long way to go for downtown Fresno, which I guess back in the day even used to have trolleys running down these streets. It's just that this city sprawled out so far to the north. But the reminders of the past are still here in some of this big, ornate Art Deco architecture. And there she is, definitely not Art Deco architecture. That is what we call the brutalist style, Celandarina, where all those great Fresno State Bulldogs basketball teams used to play. Now they've moved up north, like much of the city, to the Save Mart Center.